Trump's strange message, Aldrin's embarrassment and Hawking's alien concerns. Apollo 11 astronaut Buzz Aldrin couldn't hold back his hilarious facial expressions as he listened to President Donald Trump's waffling comments about space and security last Friday. President Trump announced a new executive order that will see the re-establishment of the National Space Council but with some of the odd things that he mentioned. Could there be a reason why this council is being put back together again and could Stephen Hawking be right with his recent comments reference the ETs not being impressed with a US president? Buzz Aldrin was standing next to Trump when the president made his remarks that appeared to confuse and humor the former astronaut. Trump was talking about space in a way that many people would not expect any more from him. However he could also be dropping some rather large bombshells about what he really knows is going on. Trump strangely said that travels beyond Earth provides the space security we need to protect the American people leading to many believing that the president and the US government believe we need some kind of protection from something unknown in space. Dot. What really caused Aldrin to glance over at the president was what Trump went on to say next. At some point in the future, we're going to look back and say, how did we do it without space? Trump said causing Aldrin's eyebrows to shoot up. At some point in the future, we're going to look back and say, how did we do it without space? Trump said causing Aldrin's eyebrows to shoot up. Trump's odd question made it seem like he was referring to space as was one of the scientists on the team or could it also mean that he is thanking whatever is out there in space? Who knows? Dot. As Trump prepared to sign the new executive order, he then turned to Buzz Aldrin and asked, there's a lot of room out there, right? To infinity, and beyond, Aldrin quipped as others laughed. But it appears the US president was not getting the joke referencing Buzz Lightyear's catchphrase in Toy Story, which had soared right over the president's head. This is infinity here. It could be infinity, Trump answered in a rather confusing response. Trump then oddly went on to say. We don't really don't know. But it could be. It has to be something but it could be infinity, right? It has been suggested recently that Trump will soon be announcing to the world that aliens are exist and are visiting planet Earth, perhaps in some way hoping to go from zero to the hero president very quickly. But, with these types of comments reference space it could mean potentially only one of two things, one, it was a mixed message reference alien contact, or, two, he hasn't got a clue what he is talking about. Dot. However, after he became the 45th president of the USA on Friday, Mr. Trump made reference to discovering non-earthly beings. He said. We stand at the birth of a new millennium, ready to unlock the mysteries of space, to free the earth from the miseries of disease and to harness the energies, industries and technologies of tomorrow. A new national pride will stir our souls, lift our sights, and heal our divisions. Let's not forget that during her campaign Hillary Clinton made it clear she would do all she could to release secret files on UFOs. She even vowed to send a task force inside the mysterious Area 51 top secret military base in Nevada, where many people claim crushed UFO parts are stored. Perhaps the president knows far more than he makes out about life beyond planet Earth, or maybe he is just living up to the challenge that Hillary Clinton had indirectly left him when she lost out as the US president. Dot. A man on a mission for the truth? Top professor Stephen Hawking recently slammed Mr. Trump for pulling the US out of the Paris Climate Change Agreement which his predecessor Barack Obama and most world leaders had signed up to. 
Speaking at the Starmus Science Festival in Norway, Mr. Hawking said. I am not denying the importance of fighting climate change and global warming, unlike Donald Trump, who may just have taken the most serious, and wrong, decision on climate change this world has seen. Hawking vs. Trump Hawking's remark came as he gave a lecture on why the human race will have to find a new planet to live on outside our solar system in the next 200 to 500 years because Earth will become inhospitable. He said this was down to overpopulation, resources being used up, and the impact of climate change he also went on to say that our days were numbered due to the risk from rogue asteroids hitting Earth. Stephen Hawking said we would have to take plants and animal species from Earth to set up new ecosystems but even the closest possible contender was for 5 light years away, and may already be occupied by aliens sounding much like a possible hint that the world's leading professor knows more than he makes out. Dot. He said how, despite traveling through space for 40 years, NASA's Voyager space probe had only last year left our solar system and ventured into interstellar space, with it unknown what it will discover. <laughs> Professor Hawking then left a stern warning to Trump when discussing about where Voyager is going. If there are any alien beings there today they remain blissfully ignorant of the rise of Donald Trump. Let's not forget that Mr. Hawking is spending millions of his own money to seek out potential advanced alien beings on a project called Breakthrough Listen which involves sending out a craft with solar paneled sails on it to a nearby star system which may host alien life. Perhaps he knows already what lies beyond and has a strong message for the ETs? Don't mess with me and me ET crew Mr. Trump Professor Hawking didn't say. P summary. Whether you like or loathe Mr. Trump one thing is for sure, he sure does not mix his words when it comes to making a bold statement. But, can we expect one of the most least like US presidents to announce publicly the truth about the existence of ETs? Quite possibly, depending on whether the dark cabal elite allow him to have knowledge about what is going on behind the scenes. With Mr. Hawking's direct attack on Mr. Trump, reference what concerns the ETs may or may not have on him as the leader of one of the most powerful countries in the world, let's not forget how much the whole alien subject has now come about. Let's also not forget that both the parting former President Obama and Trump's former presidential candidate, Hillary Clinton, both give massive hints that there was more to the whole alien disclosure subject than meets the eye. Perhaps Mr. Trump feels that Hillary left him a challenge when she publicly announced that she will send in a task force to Area 51 to find out what is really happening Remember, Hillary Clinton invested in a lot of time with the billionaire Rockefeller Sr., focusing on the ET matter. Also, let's just say that Mr. Hawking is aware of what is really going on, perhaps he knows why the ETs are here and they are not too happy with what this planet has now become. Please check out previous posts below on this important subject matter. <laughs>